Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about the question how easy it is to share your files or videos on Terabox. As we know, there's a one terabyte free option. Here it's called normal user. That's the free lifetime option of one terabyte. And here we have the premium. And so we are comparing these two options here a little bit. Well, we can see that are quite some limitations here, especially maximum numbers of file. That's the biggest disadvantage. What I can see also the maximum playback resolution is 720 and also some other limitations but now i'm going to test and show you what you can do and what you cannot do with both of the options so here i'm on a free version and you can see i have uploaded already three files one is really small one is medium size and one is a large one that's actually also video but it looks like terabox is not recognizing this as a video this one here is a video i can double click on that when i am on my account and it starts playing pretty fast as you can see but when we go to the resolution when it's playing you can see the only thing which we can choose is 720p that's the highest by the way the original video is of course 1080p but even i myself uh, from the account where i have uploaded it i can only watch it on 720p and this is also the case when you share it with somebody but of course you can download, you can also send a link to somebody and they can download it. And of course they will get then the original quality and this is how it works. I mean, I will delete that uh, after that so I can show the full link. It doesn't matter even with the password. And this is also something which is a little bit complicated. So here we are in incognito mode. And so when I paste this link here, which I copied before, you can see uh, it is a little bit difficult. So we have to remove the thing which is called link here. And then we have to copy the password itself. And then we have to delete this thing here in the back. When you do similar things with other cloud services like uh, mega.nc or so, which provide also large storage. I mean, of course, not one terabyte, but it's much easier you get a link and then you click on the link and then you get right to the item where you want to see or download and you don't have to do this thing here so we paste the password here and we click on extract and then we can see the uh, same thing uh, you can go also to download and what we can see as a difference as well i mean here the video is one minute and six seconds and when we go to the uh, a receiving account it shows only 19 seconds i have seen this before it was showing 30 seconds i don't know why it's only 19 seconds it's a little bit weird and uh, they don't even give me some other options the only thing which they are showing to me is a download yes yeah, a little bit weird when i did it before it was really showing 30 seconds and it was giving me the option to select different uh, resolution at least uh, 720 of course not the 1080 uh, we can click on download and what happens they ask to either create an account or log in that's very very uh, sad and this is not only the case for videos this is also the case like for a file when i share this thing here i can share and get a link and we copy this we go back to the incognito mode doing same thing here a little bit complicated then they ask for the password and then I have the choice to save to Terabox. Of course, I have to make an account or download. And when I click, yeah, when I click on download, it's also asking me to either create an account or log in with uh, Google or email or w w whatever. So of course when i log in i have all the options then but it's really a little bit difficult i mean the good thing is the people who are receiving this link they can see that there is something here and uh, that they are pretty close and most people have a, a google account so they can click on that and log in and uh, get easily access to the file or the video or whatever but still it's a little bit for my taste it's a little bit too complicated as long as you're not already logged in to your your own Terabox account yeah you really have to use something like that and I, I mean of course I understand that they want to sell they want to create more customers especially of course premium customers but when we compare it once again here I have created a mega.nz or nc file that's the link which i got also from another person i mean here you can see i'm also in the incognito mode so i'm definitely not logged into the mega.nc 
and when I just click on the link you can see that it everything is showing up I mean if I had the video I could play it directly from here I can download it directly from here I can click you can see it starts downloading almost immediately there was absolutely no login needed no create account needed so much much easier so these are the two main differences between the Terabox. So for almost everything they are asking for a login, except for a quick preview on a video, but that's about it. For everything else you have to make an account or login, which is definitely a little bit cumbersome and I wish it would be different. So this was in the free version. Now let's check with the paid version. So here I am on a premium account. So let's click to share here. So I'm still not logged in. I paste the link here, copy the link, extract the URL, then I use the password. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, when I move over it, there's absolutely no difference. Also only 19 seconds and not the whole video. And I have to download when I want to see everything. Also probably full resolution. They do not even show me the resolution. I guess it's uh, probably 480 or 720. Definitely not 1080p. And also when I want to download, I have to create an account or login with Google uh, or those things. So it looks like it doesn't matter if you are sharing from a free account or from a premium account. So this is also a little bit disappointing. I would have expected that at least if you share from a premium account where you pay every month subscription, uh, then when you share it from there, that people when they receive the link that they could easily uh, download or watch the video full resolution without having to make an account. Of course at the moment everything sounds very negative but this is just a small part of the whole functionality of Terabox and I'm absolutely not so negative about this solution because I think it's still one of the best solutions especially when you subscribe and use the premium solution this is one of the best things or I would say the best solution to have a large online cloud storage and it comes with all these clients with the desktop client with mobile clients you have even a full functional browser version so as a backup for yourself it's absolutely awesome it just has these limitations for sharing videos and files with some other people but yeah that's it for now i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time